So we're going to do the zodiac sign Sagittarius. Oh, this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. What do we have for Sagittarius? Two of Cups. So this is, you know, two. This is two different people that definitely have some type of mutual attraction towards each other. This could be someone who, um, this could be like a proposal, um, a partnership. Somebody wants to connect with you with this Two of Cups. Whoever this person is, they could be a water sign. Three of Wands is here. So it's like they made some type of decision. They've been prepping like for this, you know, connection or um, this partnership that they want with you. This person has a lot of foresight and they're thinking about like expanding something or expansion. Like they could be just thinking about um, partnering up with you, building something with you. And they've made some type of decision that, you know, you're the person that they want to partner up with. Four of Wands is here. They definitely want a marriage with you. This is someone that wants to build a stable foundation with you. You could be in this Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like you're single, self-sufficient, um. And you're very like secure. You're you're you have your own stability. It's like you can stand on your own two feet. And they see you in this nine of pentacles energy. You could be someone that's saving yourself for commitment. Because you know, typically the nine of pentacles is someone that's celibate. Yeah, you could be someone that have been celibate for the last uh three to four years. King of Wands is here, yeah. This is someone that have, you know, they're focused on you. This person is attracted to you and they've overcome some type of challenges that they were facing in life. And it's like they're, you know, leading their own life. And they're focused on taking some type of action towards you. And this person have been visualizing everything that they want with you. You have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So if this person was being distracted, they were slowed down. Um, they're no longer distracted anymore. It's like this person have self-discipline. This person is someone that um, could have realized that they were doing a lot of um, work without rewards. They weren't taking care of their responsibility. They weren't focusing on what they needed to do. Now they're in the energy of not, you know, letting any distractions like slow them down. They're more focused. Five of Wands is here. Somebody is definitely like, um, it's some type of tension, competition. Somebody is competing with this person. Now that this person is more focused, they got some type of competition, five of wands. They could be wanting, you know, competing with this person for you, like secretly. 
and somebody could, you know, feel the tension. They, this person, whoever this King of Wands is, they know that they have people that are in this Five of Wands with them, like secretly competing with them. These are rivals because this person wants to partner up with you. This person wants a life with you. And these were the distractions. Whoever these five of wands energies are. Seven of swords is here. Yeah, these are people that were very deceptive. They were betraying that person. And it's like they're getting away from the trickery. These are people that could have thought they got away with something. But this person is getting away. Like from whatever this conflict is. Two of swords is here. Somebody caused some type of deception and they lied to that person. They were secretly competing with that person. And it's like they could have spread some type of lies around you. Now they're under judgment. It's like they're receiving karma for whatever they lied about. They wanted that person to be able, you know, they wanted that person to be in an energy where it was difficult for them to make a decision of what they wanted with you. They wanted that person to avoid being focused. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could have wanted that person to be blinded to the fact that you were someone that was um, stable. It's like you're this Nine of Pentacles and you could be in this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody lied and they were blinded to the fact that you would be in this Ten of Pentacles energy, like have long-term uh, stability or something for yourself. Like you have... You went through a lot to get to this nine of pentacles energy and it's like you work hard to get to that energy because your main focus was getting to your 10 long-term success while they were you know trying to blind that person from the truth keep that person in an energy where they were you know unfocused you were walking from the nine to the ten and it made this king of wands realize that they were being you know deceived this was trickery. Then you have the six of pentacles, giving and receiving. So it's like this person is someone that they look at you as their equal. This person could want to give you something. It's like this person wants to share a future with you, build a life with you. They want to build a ten of pentacles with you. Yeah, whatever was done only gave this person clarity. Yeah, to be able to take action towards you or want to take action towards whatever it is that they want. Ace of Wands. It's like it inspired this person to want to take action towards you. And somebody did not know this. It's like the magician and then with the Ace of Wands and the magician popped out, Eight of Wands is here. So it's like that person is coming towards you. They could be wanting, you know, getting ready to communicate with you. Yeah, it's like this person is focusing on growth. This is all that that person desires. Now they're in this energy where, you know, after gaining clarity, they're trying to manifest you. The musician. It's like it helped somebody build their, this person built their self-confidence up. They want to celebrate with you. This person wants to reconcile with you. You definitely make this person happy with whatever it is that you, you're doing. And this could have, with this three of clubs, this could have been a third party. This could have been a friend of this person's. You know, it could have been somebody that was very, you know, sneaky. But they revealed their self for being somebody that was jealous. They didn't want that person to know that, you know, they caused some type of deception. They lied and they were secretly in competition with them. Yeah, this could have been a, you know, this could have been a karmic friend, like a jealous friend. Three of cups, five of swords. They were envious of that person. Whoa. They were doing stuff behind that person back and they were, you know, they thought they got away with it. This person was determined to sabotage 
the connection that this person was visualizing with that they wanted with you. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. This could have been somebody that thought that they were going to come in quick at the Knight of Wands. They would be able to have sex with you or something like that. This person was in the energy of lust. And it's like they were envious and jealous. They could have tried to, you know, wanted that person to think that you were this Knight of Wands energy. They wanted to project their energy off onto you. But this is how this person felt about you. They thought they would be able to come in quick. And um, that person could have wanted you to chase after them because they knew what this person visualized with you. And they were envious and jealous of that. And this person wanted you for their self. Wow. Yeah, this person definitely wanted you for their self. And they thought they were going to project some type of, you know, this immature energy off onto you because... They were envious and jealous of what this person was um, visualizing that they wanted with you. Wow. So you have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So yeah, they wanted that person to be in a state of, you know, old belief system, outdated thinking with this cassette being here. And this person could be replaying some type of events that took place over and over again. Like if you said something to this person, or they could be, you know, thinking about the lies that were told. And they're constantly replaying it over and over in their head. Somebody wanted that person to replay over and over in their head the lies that were told. So that will sabotage this person coming towards you because they were jealous. But all this person is replaying over and over in their head is that this person is someone that deceived them. They lied to them and blinded them from the truth. This person is somebody that's envious of them, jealous of them. Yeah. It's like somebody wanted someone to believe something that was not true and they, they didn't. This person is focused. Paradise is here. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So this person definitely wants to like get away with you. with this paradise you make this person happy you bring joy to this person and they want to have fun with you hand of cards take a chance risk self strategic self strategic options not showing hand gambling so this person definitely wants to take a chance with you But it's like they're not, after they realized that they were lied to and they were deceived, it was a, this person was jealous, envious of them. They haven't said nothing to anyone. They're just visualizing this. This is what they're constantly thinking about. And this is how they're manifesting the connection. Passion, insane chemistry like no other equally having fun so they have a lot of passion for you then soulmates is here soul connection partnership agreement soul contract this person has this person has a lot of passion for you um you and this person definitely are soulmates like you and this person have a spiritual connection a soul connection and this is why the chemistry is like insane with you and that person. They haven't felt that with anyone else. This is why they're so focused on you. Heart with the key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So yeah, it's like you have the um, key to this person's heart. Heart with the key. And this person feels like you're the one.
healthy choices. So it's like this person is, you know, realized they needed to make healthy choices and love in in life. But they needed to start with their self, like start loving their self, self-love, self-care in order to be happier in life with this happy, healthy choices. And then you have love. Yeah, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. This person is in love with you. And they want growth with you. They want to expand with you. Whatever action that they're getting ready to take, they, they're not... Um, it's like they know that they have these five of swords, five of wands, seven of swords energies around them. So it's like they're keeping it to their self. This person is not showing their hand. Yeah, because I don't know why I'm getting that because of whatever cards they have been dealt. So it's like this person is someone that have definitely learned some type of lesson. These are people that did not know they were teaching this person a lesson while they were strategizing on how they can sabotage this person out of envy and jealousy. They didn't think that this, this would, you know, help this person be more focused. And they could no longer distract them. 